my second time ever doing a PowerPoint, okay? Of course, the most important thing is the markets went up 217 points today. I thought that was pretty important. Yeah. We're broadening out and making more money. And making money is important. Uh, thanks for coming. Um, this is our NRCS. Um, as some of you know, we now have a, an Olympian, Rich Fellers, out of Sherwood. And wasn't he the first one to win the what is it, the World Cup from North America, or from, from North America, 25 years. And he actually competes tomorrow morning. What time is it, Joe? 2.30 in the morning. 2.30 in the morning, I, if you want to watch. And he's one of four on the team, is that correct? And didn't, these are my trainers at Arbor Grove. Uh, Rob Perkins, I think they met, you met Rich Fellers when he had ducky boots or something, or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he lives in Sherwood, but there's no place for him to compete on an international level in Oregon. He's going to go down to California, Canada, or the East Coast. So we have an Olympian with no place, no one to go. And I would watch him if you can in the morning. Let's go ahead. Wallace Bridge. Wallace Bridge, I've been looking for a site for 10 years. This is a passion, a love. Uh, and I've looked all over the state. You know, my passion started with architecture, uh, planning. Um, and then I started riding horses and found out it was expensive. But I love it, and I was trying to figure out a way to get someone else to pay for my horse riding. And um, Wallace Bridge will change Oregon, it will change the West Valley, and it will provide a great need. Just so you know, why is it called Wallace Bridge? Because Santa or Ken told me that this area is called Wallace Bridge. Because there used to be a covered bridge here. And you need to in be local. And in, it's like using local building materials because we intend to develop, develop an estate that looks like it's been here for about 150 years. I also wanted a family. Milligan doesn't work. William Wallace was my triple great uncle. The first one to come out to Montana. There's a place called Milligan, Montana. He came out on horseback, one of the first. He was a 13th settler. He was a gold miner before that. And we have his diary. And then I wanted Scottish. And William Wallace, to be a Scottish hero, you have to be killed. <laughs> and uh, my sons are here, Quinn and Drew, and those are Celtic names, and I tend to name my horses after Celtic names. Uh, and that's Santa, our kid. And um, let's go on to the next one. One thing I want to talk about, without your support, none of this will be possible. Um, if we do not, when I came here, there was a conservation zone on here which is owned by the taxpayers, and I thought I could work with that, but I found out over time it didn't work. And if the conservation zone is not moved, Wallace Bridge will not happen. Um, so that's why, you know, and if you have concerns or anything, let me know. But I thought I'd go through real quick letters of support. We've got, he couldn't be here, Tony Meeker, former state, Oregon State Treasurer. He's a local boy out of Amity. We've got the city of Wilmina. Some of you go to Coyote Joe's. Harmony New Beginnings is a place, I believe, for horses. Rescue or horses. Rescue horses. We've got Galloway Downs. Galloway Downs is in San Diego. And uh, they do eventing, international eventing, and they'd love to come up here and do shows and, and help us with international equine events. You guys know who Gary, some of you know who Gary Brooks is. I think he rode his tractor in the, in the what, the, his lawnmower in the 4th of July parade here. <laughs> I don't know Casey Bales. Is she here? I don't think she is with the Yellow Road Risers. We've got an auctioneer. Now, the reason we also have an auctioneer and we also have Parkin, uh, uh, Parkinson Resource of Oregon, as you, some of you know, Rescue, it could be Oregon Symphony. They did that with the Summer Classic out at Hunter Creek. And one of the ways you do that is you just tack on a charge of, what is it, 20, 30 cents, 20 or 30 percent, make like they did the Ben Show, Rob? 
uh, and do fundraisers. Um, um, and that portion is very important. That's why you'll see other organizations here. We can help the FFA, all sorts of organizations, because we'll have two polo fields. Some of my background, we had a car that won it first in Pebble Beach. We can do a car show here. Some of you know I've threatened to shut down Highway 22 and have a historic race out here. <laughs> and some people have offered some combines to put on there. <laughs> Ken, Santa has volunteered, the guy making the, the, he sent a letter of support in. The Mary's Peaks Total Pony Cup, it's interesting to give you an idea of the economic impact. They would like to hold their Western Championships out here. I believe it's every other year, if that's right. We're talking a thousand riders. They'd be here for a week and would support people. We're talking anywhere from 3,500 to 5,000 people that would come here. And that's, um, which is a huge impact. That'll even impact Salem, and if we have that each week. Oregon Dressage Society. Oregon Horse Country was one of the first ones. Is Jennifer, are you here? Yeah. Back there. Um, they're, what, a support organization for all the horses and stuff? Horse or